Hello everyone, I am Cindy from Cockcrate Crochet. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this Wonderland stationery. So I'm going to teach you how to make the cup, pencil holder, and this bookmark and paper clip. Also, I have the book cover as well. Uh, you can see the link in the next video in the description box. Also, please subscribe to my channel. Okay. Also, I have other tutorials from Tea Party, which is uh, the hat, the wash, the flamingo, the hedgehog, Alice as well, and also the white rabbit in her red costume and also the gentleman costume. Also, I also have DIY costume if you want to attend the real tea party. Uh, I have Alice costume and the Queen of Hearts costume. You can check all the links of my tutorial in the description box below. I also have the written PDF version. If you are interested, please see the link in the description. The pattern includes all my Wonderland creation. I hope you like it. For the flamingo, this is actually you can use it as a bookmark. I also got the inspiration from the Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Okay, first of all, you need to cut the Y. I use a 0.4 mm Y for 27 cm long and then fold it half like this. Okay, and then you know you will have both ends, so you are going to bend the ends of each size to become the loops like this After that, I'm going to use the lace yarn or you can say it is fingerling size uh, the pink color with a uh, 1.25 mm hook, crochet hook, you know. Okay, and then uh, first of all, you need to put the hook into the loops like that, and then uh, make the stitch, uh, make the single crochet and like SC for three SC on the loops. So what are you doing? What what you're doing is that you just uh. Put the hook, put the hook into the loops, and then uh, pull the yarn, and then make a C. Put the hook in the loop, pull the yarn, and make a C like that. So now I already have three S C in this loop already, and then uh, you need to slip stitch. This one might be a little bit hard because it's quite small. So make slip stitch to close the loop. So you will form something like the circle shape like this one. And then uh, we continue making the leg part by uh, making uh, 26 SC on the wire by putting the hook under the wire and make SC like this. Okay, put the hook under the wire, make SC. And then you keep counting until you have 26 SC. Okay, go under the wire. Pull the hook, pull the yarn, and then make it see. All right, just like this. Okay, you will get something like this, and then uh, you just uh, make another, another ends as well for another side. So we are having two legs. Okay, like this shape. Ah, and then bend the feet a little bit, like this. Okay, we're done. And then for the body part, I use 4 mm crochet hook and then use the wool yarn, I mean the chunky size. Okay, and then for the first row, you're going to make a 1 HDC in the magic ring. Okay, 1 HDC in the magic ring like this. Alright. Okay, and then you can just pull the yarn to close the loop like this. Now, this is 1 HDC, the first row. Okay. All right, and then for the second row, uh, you are going to make two SC, one, two, and then turn, and then you make four HDC in this stitch, four HDC. 
four HTC in the same stitch. Okay. One. All right. This is one HTC already. When you make one HTC, you can just uh use the stitch marker. I think the stitch marker for making the work with the wool yarn is quite essential because, or else you cannot see any stitch. Okay, and this is two HTC. All right, and then I put the stitch marker again. And then make another SC like this one is the third HDC already and then you mark the stitch marker and this is the fourth HDC Okay, when you're done with this use the stitch marker Okay, all right and after that uh, you will need to Slip stitch to form the circle. I mean to form the circle. Okay, Okay, you need to put the, the hook into the first stitch and then make a slip stitch. Alright, you will see this one, the shape is, uh, will be uh, like the cone, okay, of the ice cream actually. Alright, and then, then for the third row, you make two chain as well and then you make HTC and then increase for two sets. HTC increase, HTC increase, HTC increase. Okay, so <laughs> you make them for two sets. Uh, when I say when I say HDC in this case, it means that you need to make two HDC in the same stitch. So after you finish this row, you are going to have six stitches. Okay, and when you finish it, you just make slip stitch as well with the front, uh, with the first, with the first stitch of this row. Uh, for me, uh, I recommend you uh, put the stitch marker on every stitch because it is very hard to see. But for someone, you can actually use your hand to feel where are those stitches because you cannot see it anyway. You need to touch it and feel where are those stitches. Okay, just for the code, I wrote on the screen and then you keep uh, marking the stitch. Uh, keep in mind that you will need uh, to have six stitch marker, six stitch marker in the third row. Okay. Okay, and then uh, for the fourth row, you're going to make just one chain and then make two SC together, just like decrease two SC together. Okay, uh, keep in mind that you need to put the hook into where you mark with the stitch marker. This is not very complicated, just make uh, two SC together. Forty times, and you will go. You will have like three stitches after you finish the fourth row. Okay, when you finish, uh, you can remove all the stitch marker and then for row 5, uh, this one is very simple. You just make one, one, uh, one decrease, I mean two SC together is like decrease. So make one decrease on this row and then just fasten off. Okay, you will have two stitch left and you will get the shape like this. This is the body part of the flamingo.
Okay, after that, you will use the white wool yarn to embroider the wings. Uh, you can uh, embroider as follow, and you can make both sides of the body with this white. Okay, and after that, you can just insert the 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 legs that you have made to the mid done of the body, and then you can insert the 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 hook to 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 get the Y through the body. When you insert it, try to make the the rest of the Y to go through where you want the neck to be just like what I'm doing right now okay and then let's move on to the neck the, the head part of the flamingo this one is the hardest part in my opinion because this is really small and, and it's kind of hard to make uh, for the first uh, for the first row you're going to start with the bow lace yarn make H one HDC Okay, the first one you're going to make one HDC as a magic ring and then turn. Okay, when you turn, make one chain and then turn and then make three SC in the same stitch. One, two, and three. All right. It is the same thing when you start, uh, actually the same thing as the body part. Uh, then you just pull the yarn to close the loop like this. And then this one is the hardest because you need to slip stitch and form the loop just like what you did with the body part. Okay, when you slip stitch, make sure that you change to clean color immediately. And then continue row 3 with SC. And then increase and then SC. SC, increase and SC, okay? This is SC. Okay, and the next one would be increase. So increase is like two SC in the same stitch. It is really hard, you know, because it is small, and and I and I was taking the the video as well. So what I'm doing is like trying to two wheels inside like this. Okay, and then finally I can finally get it in. So this is the second stitch which is increase okay and the and next one would be sc very very small all right now i finished this row okay when you finish it you can just continue Continue the, the next row. So just going to the first stitch, you know, and then can continue, or maybe you can just fasten off first. Oh, sorry, it's maybe you can just slip stitch first. Then uh, the fourth row would be. HDC uh, would be SC increase for two sets 
so it means SC increase and SC increase. Uh, after you finish this row, you are going to have six digits. Okay, when you finish it, you will get something like this. So, when you finish this row, you can change it to pink, to the pink color. Okay, and after this part, it will get easier because uh, the work is, is bigger right now. So, it get easier. And then just uh, change to pink. Alright. Okay, and then you continue row 5. Row 5 is Etsy and... 2 increases and then 3 SC you can you can uh, follow the code I wrote on the screen there is nothing complicated after this just like normal crochet doll you can also do that according to the code I wrote on the screen after you finish the after you finish row 5 you are going to have a digit Okay, keep doing that. Mm -hmm, okay, let's see and then increase. Okay, this is increase. Okay, then you can continue uh, row 6, which is SC increase for 4 times, you will get a uh, 12 stitch totally. For row 7, you make 12 SC. For row 8, you make uh, 2 SC increase and then 5 SC and then decrease and then 2 SC. So after row 8, actually you increase 1 time and decrease 1 time, you are going to have the same stitch which is 12 stitches. And then for row 9, you will make a 2 SC and then decrease and repeat it for 3 sets. You will get 9 stitches. And then for row 10, SC decrease 2 times and then 4 SC, you get 7 stitches. And then uh, make decrease until you have egg sorry seven, until you have seven stitches like this so you can follow the code i wrote on the screen and also don't forget to put to fill in a little bit of polyester fiber okay and then uh you after you finish row 12 you will have seven stitches after that uh follow 13 to row 29 which are uh 17 row you can continue 7 SC around for the next part Okay, and then after you finish uh, making the the next for seven seventeen row, you need to insert the Y through the neck, and use this. You can use the small hook to pull to help pull the one to the wire. It is pretty hard to pull the wire, but you need to uh, pull it a little bit, and then just continue another part, and then pull it until you reach the the big part, you know.
Then just sew the legs and the neck to the bottom. After that, just use 2mm bleeds as the eye and then sew it uh, on the head. Also, make some hair as follower. So make some hair. You can use the 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 small part of the of the yarn, and then make the smaller thread or something. You can just sew it like that to make the hair, and then just cut it. Okay, then you cut it like this and now it is done. This is the flamingo bookmark. You can put it on and the size is 10 cm high and at least can actually hold this. Alright, and then the second one would be the tiny hedgehog. Okay, this one is from the novel as well. To make the hedgehog, uh, I'm going to use the wool yarn, the same size as the body part of the flamingo, uh, and then 4mm crochet hook too. For the first row, you start with with magic ring 3 DC. Okay, make 3 DC into this ring like this. For this one, it is so small that you don't need to use any uh, stitch marker. And then when you finish uh, making 3DC in the magic ring already, you can just slip stitch. Okay, just put the hook into the first stitch and then pull the yarn through. Okay, done. And now you can fasten off, cut it like this. Okay. Now this is the body part of the hedgehog. Really, really easy, really, really fast. Okay. Alright, and then you make the face of the hedgehog using the clean lace yarn, the same size as the flamingo as well, and use 1.25 mm hook. Uh, for the first row, you're going to start off with magic ring 3 SC. Okay, this one is hard again because it is so small, and then you can just slip stitch to cross the loop like this, forming the circle. Alright, when you are done, continue uh, row 2 to row 4 as follow. For row 2, make 2 increase it and then 2 SC, you will have 6 stitch totally. For row 3, you make a 3 increase it and then 3 SC, you will have 9 stitches totally. And then for row 4, make 5 increases and then you are done, you can fasten off. Okay, uh, after you finish uh, row 4, you are going to have 14 stitches. After that, you can use the smaller thread to embolder the nose and the eye as follow.
okay this is very cute and then just uh, attach the face to the main body part like this this one is very simple but you cute such, you get such a cute hedgehog okay now and we are done this is very adorable help you enjoy also, sew the hedgehog to the paper clip. To make the hair and rabbit paper clip, this one is quite simple and very cute. To make it, you need to use the wool yarn and 4mm crochet hook. First, we start with the head. Uh, for the first row, you're going to make a uh, magic ring 3 HDC. Magic ring 3 HDC. And then uh, you should use the stitch marker because it is so hard to identify the stitch. And then for the second row, continue two chain and then turn, make two HDC in the same stitch. The first stitch you're going to work on the the stitch that you mark with the blue one. Okay, make. To as you see in this stitch, this is very simple. Okay, and then the next one, the next stitch, which will be the pink one, make one HDC. All right, and then the next stitch, which will be the orange one, make two HDC in the same stitch. After you finish this row, you're going to have five stitches. And then you can fasten off and then you just uh, continue the body part. For the body part, you should start off with the second stitch from the right side or the left side, you know. So just make two chain and then turn and then make three HDC. You can use the stitch marker to mark down three stitch in the middle of the head at four rows. Okay, for the fourth row, make two chain and then turn and then make HDC. So this one, it would be easier if you use the stitch marker, but I'm okay. I can feel the stitch, you know, and this and the next one would be two HDC in the same stitch. And then the last stitch would be HDC. After you finish this row, you're going to have four stitches and then you can fasten off. Okay, then for the head, uh, for the ear part, uh, you need to make a slip stitch on the head, you know, and then make a seven chain. And then make HDC third stitch from the hook. And then two HDC, one, two, and the next stitch would be SC. And then uh, would be slip stitch. So totally you work around 5 stitches on the ear. And the last stitch would be that you slip stitch on the head part, you know, to attach the ear together to the head. You actually don't need sewing. Uh, 
because you have already attached the ear, two ears to the head and we mostly done okay and then I sew around the neck in order to shape the neck part of the rabbit so you can do like this just try to uh, use the yarn to sew it around the neck and then you can see the shape of the neck after that make the muscles the muscle you start off with a magic ring THDC and then slip stitch okay one two three okay you make three HGC and then you slip stitch to form the loop like this Okay, now you can fasten off and after that, uh, you should uh, embolder the nose part and the mouth part using the pink thread on the muscle. Okay, you can embolder it as follow. Okay, after you finish the nose part, uh, you can continue the mouth part. Alright, and now I'm done. Uh, very cute. And then sew it, attach it on the face using the light thread of white string. Uh, so you cannot see it anyway. And then attach 4 mm beads at the eye. This is very simple but very cute also. After that, uh, you uh, can use the pink wool yarn to embolder around the ear. Okay, now we are done. Uh, after that, uh, you can just sew, sew the wrap it on the paper clip like this so use one paper clip and sew the wrap it on top you can make the hair as well using the brow wool yarn okay and the white one for the wrap it okay you can use this as a paper clip or the bookmark also if you like this book's cover I make the link for tutorial in the description below you can also insert the rabbit and the hair in the front of the books okay i hope you love it okay let's move on to the next part the heart key this one will be the part that attach on the book cover as well okay to start this you need the raised yarn and 1.75 mm crochet hook for the first row make six chain and then turn then make 5 SC alright after you finish making 5 SC 
you just make one chain and then turn and then repeat the same thing 5 SC in each row from row 2 to row 5 After you finish it, you will get something like this and then continue row 6. Uh, I will cut the Y 0.4mm Y for 38 to 40 cm and then fold it in half. And then you can uh, use the Y inside the stitch. First, uh, make one chain first and then turn and then you make it C with the Y inside the stitch. So what you are doing is that you will put the crochet hook into the stitch under the Y and then make a C. Alright. Okay, for this one, uh, you can insert the hook into the loop uh, in the Y for the first stitch. And then after that, uh, insert the hook into the stitch. Put the hook under the Y and then make a C like this. Okay, this one is quite simple actually all right you see the y is inside the stitch okay and then you can do it like the flamingo leg uh by putting the y under the uh, sorry putting the hook under the y and then make a c and then you can make a c on the y for your desired length so keep doing it until you have the key that you want all right i make uh, this length uh, it depends on you and then after you finish it you can split the Y and then continue making uh, the, this code in each side so uh, I will start with the with the right side first you know by making uh, 11 SC 3 HDC 3 DC and 13 SC okay because finally, I'm going to make the shape like the heart on top, like this. Okay, now I'm gonna continue. Make 11 SC, 3, 3 HDC, 3 DC, and then 13 SC. After you finish making, you can just fasten off. For the other size, you can just slip the yarn in the base and then continue making 11SC, 3HDC, 3DC 
and 13 is 3 and then fasten up you can just repeat the same step at the other law Okay, now we are done with this. So, yeah, let's continue another part. You can just uh, curve it like this and then sew both of them together. Also for the heart, I follow the small pattern from the external side link in the description box. Also, uh, I make the embodier, the small heart at the at the edge part of the key. So you can just follow how I do this embodier. But if you have other kind of material such as a uh, felting wool and jumper needle, you can use the felting technique as well. But uh, I want to show you how I embody your heart on the key. All right, now I'm done with this. Uh, please try to hide the yarn only in the front part so you don't see a lot in the back side. Okay, now. Okay, I also decorate small heart with the beads and then sew it on the key. Then you can use this golden loop, you know, golden uh, loops uh, and attach it on top of the key like this. Also, I uh, make the golden chain by turning this golden loop into a chain and then I will use it as the, the chain for the keys and then I attach it on the book cover. You can see the link for book cover pattern in the link in the description box below my video uh, it will be available in next two weeks uh, if you don't see it just wait until I upload it okay and then next one is a cup pencil holder with detachable alice for alice uh, you need to see the link in the description box uh, I will use the lace yarn and 1.75 mm hook as well for the first row I start with magic ring egg DC so you totally make a egg DC into this magic ring like this all right now I'm done with this and then just pull the yarn and then slip stitch to form the loop okay slip slip stitch slip stitch to the first uh, first part of to the first stitch on the row and then for uh, row 2 to 5 uh, you're gonna continue egg DC around 
and after you finish row five, you can just fasten off. Um, so all of this row, you are going to have only eight stitches. So you can try to measure with your pencil that it will cover your pencil. All right, keep doing. Egg DC around. Okay, all right. Uh, after you finish it, just try to uh, put it in the pencil so you see if it is okay and fit the pencil or not. And then now, uh, slip stitch the yarn in. Just turn the hole to yourself, you know, turn the hole to yourself and then slip stitch the yarn in and continue make work on the back loop only. For the first row, you work on the back loop. Only the first row that you make on the back row, okay? Uh, the first row you make egg increases. After you finish this row, you are going to have 16 stitches. Okay, and then for row 2 to row 15, you can making the normal code. Follow the code I wrote on the screen. You can capture the screen if you want to, but please note that for your personal use only, please do not publish it anywhere else. Alright, after you finish it, uh, continue 16, row 16, uh, 56 HC around with the gold color you can just change to the gold color and then keep making 56 stitches okay after you finish it uh, change the color to white and then uh, make 56 SC in back loop only okay work only on the back loop and then after you're done, you just change to go again and then make 56 SC for back loop only. Okay, and after that, after you finish uh, for row 19, uh, change to Y and then make 6 SC increase for X set on back loop only. After this, we're going to start the heart pattern. So it is quite complicated, but if you are good at reading the code like this, please craft the screen for personal use only. So we're going to start uh, from the right side. And if you don't understand it, you can use this kind of code as well. Please capture the screen for personal use. And also for SC with half black and white means it is half red and white or half white and red. So you can capture the screen if you want to. Okay, but I'm going to start step by step anyway. So for row 20, we're going to start off with 4 SC in white color and then change to red color. 1 SC in red color and then make 7 SC in white color. After you make 7 SC, you make another red SC. Okay, so if you see in the parenthesis, it is 7 SC and SC uh, times 7, it means that you have to repeat the same step for 7 times. And after you finish these 7, Seven sets already, just make three SC in white color. So totally you are going to have 64 stitches with eight heart. Okay, for row 21, uh, we start with three, three SC first and then when you reach the heart, 
uh, make 3 SC in red. Okay, 3 SC in red, and then change to white, and then make 5 SC and then 3 SC for seven sets. Okay. And then for row 22, uh, this one make 3 SC in white first and then make thing in the parenthesis in red, SC increase and 2 SC. Okay, and then you repeat the, the step in the parenthesis for 7 sets. And then after you finish this row, you are going to have 72 stitches. Okay, just keep making like the code I wrote on the screen. For row 23, um, make 3 SC until you reach the heart. Okay, for the heart, you change to red color and then make 2 SC on the heart. 1, 2, okay, 2 SC, and then the next one would be half red and white, okay, by a uh, you have the red and then you just like put the hook into the stitch and pull white one and then the next two SC would be red okay and after you finish change it to white and then continue the code in the parenthesis for seven times uh, after you finish this row you are going to have 72 stitches Okay, then for row 24, uh, we make 3 SC until you reach the heart. Okay, for the first stitch of heart, uh, first stitch of heart, you would make a uh, half white and red by uh, putting the hook into the stitch and pull the red yarn like this. There, this is half white and red. Okay, and then the second stitch would be red SC, okay, would be red. Alright, this is SC in red, and then change to white, and then make increase in white. Make increase in white. Okay, you make white in the stitch that is white from the last row. Don't forget to hide the red yarn underneath the white stitches. So make increase in white. Okay. One. Two. So this is increase. And then uh, for the next one, make half white and red. Use white yarn in the loop, but pull the red yarn on and then make SC. Okay. And then for the last S3, make red SC. Alright, now we are done for the last row of the heart. So you will get this shape. Okay. The last one would be red and then repeat the same stitch the same step uh, in the parenthesis until you have uh, egg hearts in total after you finish this row you are going to have egg teeth stitches 
Okay, this one is very beautiful. Egg hearts in total. I hope you enjoy this. Alright, for the next one would not be very hard for row 25. You will make a uh, eighty SC in back loop only. And for row 26, change it to gold. Make it make eighty SC in back loop only. And then row 27, change to white. Make a uh, eighty SC. Okay, after you finish this row, you are going to have the uh, eighty stitches. For the last row, which is row 28, uh, this is a bit special. You need to use two straight of yarn instead of one. Okay, so because I want to make the edge of the cup thicker, so I recommend you using two straight of yarn, making uh, in back loop only uh, for 80 stitches. And after you finish this row, you can fasten off. And then fill in polyester fiber in the cup. Also, cut a piece of cord in circle shapes and then sew it in the middle of the pencil cover like this. This one will serve as the cover to secure the polyester fiber inside the cup. And then you can fill in more polyester fiber and sew the piece of cord to the edge to of the edge of the piece of cord to the cup like this. So this one is like the seed for Alice. Okay, now we are done for the seed. Alright, and then uh, I would do the handle. The handle of the cup by using a uh, two straight of white lace yarn like this. And then make 22, 22 chains and then uh, make 3 chains and then turn and then make triple crochet for two stitch you know one and then the next stitch would be another triple crochet two all right and then uh, for the next 18 stitches we are going to make DC so you make DC stitches along the line and then the last two stitches you are going to make two triple crochet okay then sew the handle to the cup like this Okay, and then use hook and loop fastener to make a list detachable on the cup. Alright, I'm going to sew the uh, the fastener inside the Alice skirt. If you want the pattern for Alice, uh, please see the link in the description box. Okay, I will sew the fastener and sew another side of the fastener on the cup as well and then we can sew it using the sewing thread it might be a little bit hard to sew it but if you have the better the better technique please let me know in the comment as well but uh, I managed to sew all of them attaching all of them to a little skirt and also on Okay, uh, attach it using the sewing thread and I have already finished attaching the fastener on the cup and, uh, and inside a list skirt as well. You can now take on, put on a list and remove her as you want or you can uh, use 
only the cup or you want to make a list PC the link in the description box you know so put in the pen or pencil and this one is perfectly done okay guys this all the set for stationery i hope you guys enjoy it and thank you so much for watching for the books pattern please see the link in the description box